Hey everyone, but I'm here again, and today we are opening the Battles of Legend Heroes Revenge. Uh, this is a brand new booster box uh, that has Sky Strikers in it, obviously, because they re-engage. But it also has a lot of heroes in it. It has the Battle Wasps uh, from the anime that just got released through this. Uh, it has, uh, well, it has reprints that are pretty interesting. Uh, obviously, it has the uh, Boral Sword, I believe. Uh, in there that there is a chance of getting at least and uh, there is a new Salomon Great Link monster that is actually very awesome and so obviously the cards that I am looking for in here are going to be the Boral Sword and the Salomon Great Al Mirage. Uh, I'm not too interested by the Sky Strikers because they are not my priority but I am willing to receive some because the only engages that I had uh, ever pulled have been sold long ago when I actually pulled them. Uh, I never really kept any, <laughs> to be honest. But oh wow, here we go! One of the most expensive cards of the set already. Selling Great Al Mirage, one of the cards I wanted. Oh sweet, this beauty shines in this brand new phone that I am using right now. And I love it. Uh, so yeah, this card is beautifully powerful because it has the uh, capability of being summoned by using one normal summon monster with 1000 or less attack and it has an arrow towards yourself. This is good in a lot of decks. It's good in Cyber Dragons, it's good in Salmon Great, obviously. Uh, it's good in, uh, let's, let's say you can actually use this to your advantage in Invoked, which is very, very underrated at the moment, but this is easily, like you just summon a laser, use a laser for this, and you basically have an arrow towards yourself, plus an laser in your grave so you don't waste your normal summon at all. It's beautiful. We have Revival Swarm for the Battle Wasp archetype. We have the Fortune Fairy Anne, which is one of the archetypes introduced in this set, which is not too great, but not awful either, I guess. It's not competitive in any way, but it's still a fun little archetype to collect. Let's see if we can get all of them. We have the Battle Wasp Sting the Poison, and Fortune Fairy Chi! So we have Anne and Chi! So let's just sleeve Al Mirage, because I believe this is worth like $30 Canadian at the moment. So that is swell on our first pack. I really only wanted one Al Mirage, and I've seen people only pull like two or three out of a full... Um, well, I guess, case. So that's kind of sad. I really want to see how many we can pull today. Uh, one Battle Wasp Hama of the... No, Hama the Conquering Bow. So these are like insect looking... Well, they're, they're insect monsters. And honestly, let's be honest, people needed insect monsters uh, being printed. And that is awesome. Uh, so yeah, insects getting support is great, and they look a lot like the black wings used to look, but, you know, that's just something else. Uh, Vision Hero Trinity, we have White Dragon Wyvern Buster, uh, Wyver Buster, which is a good reprint as a foil. We have TG Drill Fish, which is a new TG card, and we have Subterra Guru as a reprint for, uh, well, I guess that's a good foil reprint as well. So yeah, TGs are in here. I think there are four or five TG monsters and a couple of TG support spell traps. Uh, so that's interesting. We have Necroz Cycle, a good reprint for a secret rare. We have Unacceptable Result. If you control a spellcaster monster, special summon one fortune fairy from your hand. And basically they're all spellcasters, so that's kind of cool. But it's weird that they're called fairies and they're spellcasters, you know, but whatever. Anyways, we have a fortune fairy card, that's kind of cool. But we're only going to see if we get all of the normal, well, the monsters. We have Predoplast, which is a good support thing for Predoplants. We have Gimmick Puppet Chimera Doll, very interesting. And we have Black Dragon Clat Serpent, nice reprint. Uh, another card that I really want to get is Advendrant, uh, Advendred Savior which is the uh, the Vendred um, Link monster, basically. Very, very sought after for people like me who love zombies and Vendreds. We have Vision Hero Vion as a secret rare. That is cool. We have a Shadal, Shadal Hedgehog, which is kind of cool because get them now. There will be a structure deck based around Shadals in the future, 
and might as well get your foils right now because the hype is already alive. <laughs> so that's cool. Uh, we have Witch Raider, we have Dangerous, and we have Sweet! Cute. Cute little water girl. Who said there were only water boys in the world? Let's continue with number 97, Draglubion. Pretty cool, pretty cool for those number hunter people. We have Musketeer Max, which is a very sought after card, but honestly, I'm not a big fan of magical musketeers. Like, I do understand why people love them, I just don't like them myself. But uh, I do know a lot of people like this card, so I'll just put it aside for now. We have Foolish Burial, one of the cards I actually wanted the most because I just love blinging out some of my old school decks. And Foolish Burial, ultra rare, easy to get, is nice. Let's put it in the good reprints. Vision Hero Minimum Ray! Uh, a lot of Vision Heroes in here because that's like the main thing in here. We have Symbol of Friendship. Uh, but uh, I'll just continue on the Vision Hero next time we uh, actually pull one. But Symbol of Friendship is a decent reprint. Like, I think this was a promo way back in the days. And, you know, it's not necessarily good, but it's fun to have for collectors and other people in general. Anyways, uh, Vision Heroes are getting a lot of support in here because, you know, they deserve it. And basically, uh, most of them are dark, which is kind of cool because you can use those with um, Shadow Mist and the likes. And that's actually very, very fun. Uh, they have a very gimmicky way of play, but I like it. I actu actually very like it. Very much so. High Speedroid Rubber Band Shooter. Uh, there are a lot of Speedroids supporting here, and that's kind of cool. We have Battle Wasp Dart the Hunter. Lunalite Crimson Fox, cool reprint. Battle Wasp Arbalest uh, the Rapid Fire. And we have Shadal Squamata, another good reprint. Uh, so yeah, I, I know we only... So yes, we have only seen one Speedroid card, but I do know there is also a Synchro, which is very good for the deck. Ooh, another oh, Mirage! Nice! Oh, very nice! Apparition for Heroes. Will of Salmon Great, good reprint for Salmon Greats. Uh, Battle Wasp Nest and Sonic Stun for our TG guys. Let's just sleeve up our Al Mirage. I know people have pulled like two or three out of uh, a case, or so I've seen. Maybe that was just a very unlucky case, because two in a box, that's very lucky, otherwise. Let's see if we get a, a good um, Bell Boral Sword eventually. We have Hama the Conquering Bow. We have Metal Skeleton. We have Who, Kaleido Chick, and Miracle Stone for our Fortune Fairies. I don't want this video to be excruciatingly long. So I will be uh, going a little faster. I'm sorry about that. Necroz Cycle, good reprint again. Artifact Sight, good reprint again. You're seeing a lot of play nowadays. Water of Life, I actually pretty much like this card. It's a conditional monster reborn. Uh, if the camera could focus, please. If you control no monsters, target one monster in your graveyard and special summon that target in attack. Also, for the rest of this turn, after this card resolves, you cannot activate monster effects, except the one of that card. But that's for the rest of this turn. So if you do a big combo and you sacrifice the monster you loved, or you needed to have a better field, this is such a good card. We have Guardian of Order, classic card from, I believe, uh, Invasion of Chaos. It's been so long. And we have Gold Moon Coin. Add two cards from your hand to your opponent's hand, then draw two. So th this is a good card uh, for those decks that brick, or cards um, for decks like uh, Dark Worlds, where you can give your opponent your uh, Dark World cards and make them discard them. Obviously, that will not activate the effect that is uh, when your opponent makes you discard the card because you're the one making yourself send the card to the grave even if the card is in your opponent's hand. But still, that is a very good card nonetheless because a lot of Dark World cards have effects that activate just by being discarded to the grave overall. Anyways, we have Vision Hero Vion, Secret Rare, very nice. Revival Swarm, we have Anne, but I believe we already had her, that was the first one. We have Vision Release, very good card for Vision Heroes, actually. And we have Battle Wasp, Sting of the Poison, oh, just, just Sting of, no. Sting the Poison, there aren't any ofs. Anyways, almost done with this side, uh, we'll go a little faster with the next, I believe. Anyways... Uh, 97 again, Trinity again, Wyver Buster again, Chi again, I believe, yep, Chi again, and Drillfish again. Wow, a lot of doubles there. 
Are there any lights and fire fairies? I think there should be. Lancia, very good reprint right here. A lot of people playing this against, uh, well, a lot of the meta decks actually, like Thunder Dragons, they suffer a lot against Lancia. Uh, unacceptable result, Bird of Blast, Guru, and Chimera. I think Guru was put there last time, not sure. Yeah, that's a good reprint because a lot of people are playing it competitively, but I'll just put it back in here. Because it's not generic enough to my taste to be considered just a general good reprint. It's a good rarity bump, I should say. Anyways, we have another Lancia, that's cool. We have Lucky Lone, Multiply Guy, and the Fire Fairy. Nice, we're only missing the light one. And we have Kaleido Chick, and I believe the light one is one of the good fairies, actually. I think. Because I know for the ladies, like the Fortune ladies, Fire and Light were like some of the best if not the best of the six. We have Utopia Kazer. I know this is a pretty decent card. Like it's, I'm, I'm not a big fan of number cards. Sorry guys, if you guys enjoy them. I'm, I'm just not from that era of Yu-Gi-Oh. I actually didn't play much during the Exeeds era, but I know like some of them are very hyped. Number 76, Harmonizer Gadriel. Herald of the Art Light, very good reprint here. This was an expensive card for no good reason, although it, it, it was a good card, but it's... Anyways, you guys get what I mean, I guess. Hero Poisoner, nice. Oh, and uh, the field spell for Southern Grace, meaning that you can now pimp out your deck. We have Dino Wrestler Pancratops, another very good rarity bump, because this was only a common before. Very nice, very deserved. We have Gravito for the Vision Heroes. We have Apparition, Battle Wasp, and Clap Serpent. Keep going. Let's just keep going. Ooh, Trap Trick Sarah. I know this was also a very sought after card in this set. Uh, just like the Max, because a lot of people love Magical Musketeers and a lot of people love their Trap Tricks from Hat Era. Anyways, good card, good card. We have Sight, good card again, good reprint. Should have put it there earlier, but uh, you know what? I'll just put it there for now. Swarm, Stun, and Chimera Doll. I know a lot of people like their Chimera Dolls as well, but I'm not too into that, actually. Uh, I do like the gimmick puppet, like, lore, I guess, or the uh, artwork, but I'm not much into playing them. They're just from that era, you know, that I and play. Vision Hero Increase, that's cool. Water of Life again, Beast, Squamata, and Swam. Okay, let's go for a Boral Sword. Come on, Boral Sword. That's what we want. Vision Fusion, that's cool. We have, oh, we have the Battle Wasp um, highest level Synchro, and this one is an insane one. If this card is special summon, you can banish all insect monsters from your graveyard. All monsters your opponent currently controls lose 500 attack and defense for each of your banished insect monsters. If this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing damage. If this synchro summon card and its owner control is destroyed by an opponent's card, you can special summon three of your banished level 11 or lower insect monsters. Uh, so yeah, if you guys look into the Battle Wasp archetype, that last effect of special summoning back is actually pretty big. Uh, Will of the Salmon Great, Moon Coin, and Nest. But like, I, I, if I remember correctly, you could get a lot of them banished to make it. So basically, when it leaves the field because it's destroyed by an opponent's card, you basically get them back. That's great. Uh, we have Sky Striker Ace Ray as a good rarity bump for the secret rare. Beautiful stuff right here. Not as beautiful as the 20th anniversary secret from the Japanese, uh, I guess, rarity bump. But this is still beautiful as well. Skeleton, Trinity, Dangerous, and Bullseye. It's, it's a cute little bee. Just gotta love it. Well, it's a wasp, but you know what I mean. It's a cute little guy. Just there to pinpoint your opponent's weakness. And we have All Eyes Phantom Dragon. Still no Boral Sword, but you know, they can't just give us the good stuff. Ooh, Stratos, that is a good reprint. That is a well-deserved reprint. A lot of people love their Stratos, and its being unbanned is big for a lot of people. And in Japan, I think it just got unrestricted, like unlimited, it's at three at the moment. Cyberstein, that is a very fun card for me because I love my old school stuff and this is a good looking secret rare. It looks sinister. 
I like this. Very much so. Lucky Lone, Result, Nether Soul Dragon, that is a decent reprint as well, and Minimum Ray. Only a few packs left. Three, to be precise. And we haven't seen a Boral Sword, which is the only other card that I really wanted to pull out of this. Uh, but honestly, up to now, I'm pretty satisf satisfied with the box. We have uh, Vision Hero Fattis, nice. We have Hafterburners, a reprint. Battle Wasp Dart, Drillfish, and Chi. Okay, so we're down to two packs, and we're still missing the Light Fairy, and we're missing a Boral Sword. Let's open this pack up. Okay, so the first card is a secret. Let's pull it to the back and keep the suspense. Crimson Fox, Multiply Guy, Stone, Summon Limit, good reprint, and we have Dark Sacrifice. When your opponent activates a card or effect that would destroy a card or cards on the field, negate it. Then send one level 3 or lower Dark Monster from your deck to your graveyard. Interesting. Interesting. Final pack. Final pack of Destiny. How do the cards guide us? Boom, Wyver Buster, that's cool. Absolute Zero, that's nice. We have Sweep, not the light one, but still. Battle Wasp and Iperia. Sadly, we didn't pull Boral Sword, but Iperia is cool. If this card is summoned, draw a card. That's normal summon, special summon, flip summon, I guess, though that doesn't really matter much. Uh, but yeah, this just, it's once per turn, but it's so abusable. Like, you just find a way to revive an Earth, a Reptile, or a level 2, and boom. You just benefit from it. Even with the attack, it's such a low attack. There must be cards that just special summon it easily and you draw more cards. That is good. So let's do a quick recap. Overall, we've pulled all foils. So that's <laughs> to be expected, but pretty cool. We have one Wyver Buster. Two Wyver Busters. Wyver Busters, and we have two Collapse Serpents. We have two Sites, one Stratos, one Errol, and one Burial. So those are some pretty darn good reprints. In our secret corner, we have one Cyberstein, which I'm very happy about. We have one Ray, which I'm very happy about. One Pangratops as well. Two Lancias, pretty cool. One, I think we have two Vions. Yep, two Vions. And we have two Necroz Cycles, which are also pretty sought after. We didn't pull our Adventurant Savior, which is kind of disappointing, honestly. And we didn't pull our Boral Sword Dragon. But we did pull two Al Mirages, which is very nice. I might as well, I'll, I'll at least keep one. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the two of them. Maybe I'll try to trade one for the Burl Sword or something. We got Magical Musketeer Max and Sarah, uh, Trap Trick Sarah once each. That's kind of cool. And we pulled all the fairies except the light one, which is kind of sad, honestly. And funny enough, like, other than Chi being uh, switched for Anne, like, if we put them in this order, they appeared in decreasing level order. Like, that's actually very funny. Huh. Funny stuff. Anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's vid. It will probably be the only Battles of Legends Heroes Revenge opening on this channel, because honestly, we've pulled pretty much everything except two or three cards that I wanted, uh, except for maybe more copies of what I've pulled. But still, um, we, 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 we won't really need to open any more on the channel of these, but they are fun to open. And if you guys can get a good discount on a box or a good price overall, do invest in here because it, it it is a fun set with good reprints and good new stuff for fun and for competitive with all mirage and burl sword that we didn't pull anyways uh so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's vid i know i did it has been a pleasure and until next time guys panem out